wildlife trafficking often takes place under the cover of darkness. One of the most common methods for smuggling animals out of the forest is by public transport. The vets from the rescue centre are trying to combat the trade by working with the authorities at checkpoints on the main routes out of the jungle. It is breeding season for all the parrots and some of the mammals as well. So there is a very high chance that a lot of little baby orphans that have been taken away from their mothers or away from their nests are going to be found in one of these vehicles tonight. As the operation goes on, the officers find more and more baby parrots. This batch were hidden in the hold of the bus. A young couple is apprehended and taken into custody. This kind of scenario is quite common for someone to get a bird into their bag and try to transport it in a bus, because that's easy money for them, illegal easy money. It's our job to protect the animal. The animal now becomes evidence, and that evidence is under our care. These baby parrots are the lucky ones they'll be given the best possible chance to be free again. Whenever new patients arrive at the rescue centre, the first job is to get them checked in. The priority for now is to rehydrate and feed these baby parrots after their traumatic journey out of the jungle. As long as we can undo their malnutrition, we will have a very good chance of success with these guys. We can still uh, teach them how to be proper parrots and not how to depend on humans. In one month alone, the centre can receive over 100 baby parrots. We do tend to get a lot of baby parrots in. It's the, the season when they start hatching and that's the time when it's very easy for people to grab them. It's really, really sad, and it's unfortunately quite common. Most baby parrots never even make it to market. The vast majority die en route. The way that people carry these animals is completely inhumane. They're wrapped up in plastic bags. They usually can't breathe, and that is why there's a lot of fatalities. Up to 70, 80 percent of the animals die in transit in order for people to please themselves, and that is that's just, it just makes you angry. If all goes well, in two years' time, these baby parrots will be returned to the forest.